am here playing a different game today. This is Scrolls. It's a, a card game from the people who made Minecraft, funny enough. And I'm here with my good friend from Team Tuxedo, Tort. Say hello, please. Hello, please. <laughs> All right. And now would you kindly say hello to everyone who's not called please? <laughs> hello there, YouTube. Uh, I first thought that, thought that joke on The Two Ronnies from 1974. It was old then! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's starting to become a bit of a thing with the tuxedos, I've noticed. Yes. <laughs> yes. And a more antisocial group of friends I've I've never <laughs> no, I fit in well really, don't I? <laughs> we're a lovely bunch, really. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna give this a go. Um I've hardly played this. Tort has played this a little bit more than me. Uh we've had a test game to see if it would work alright and he handed me my trousers, so uh <laughs> Which I honestly right. wasn't expecting, but um, I, I wasn't also wasn't expecting you to use the deck that you did. So, hmm. <laughs> and looking at that, I shouldn't have expected me to do the, use the deck I did either. <laughs> so, right, sending you a challenge. Okay. Uh, when it comes through, I shall accept. Okay. So, I last time I used the uh, the Grove starter deck, which is as it says, a starter deck. It's a bit crap. This time, I shall use that one. Okay. Um, this is, and from what you've told me about the decks that you have, this is a deck I haven't seen. But you will have a little bit of advantage here in that you've seen this deck in our little practice. No, I'm sure that would really help. <laughs> okay, <laughs> quick run through for anyone watching my channel. Um, if uh, you're watching this on Torts channel, it's the other way around. Okay, so I am on the left. This is my fine figure here. And this is the number of cards in my deck and the number played. So I've got 45 cards in my deck, played none. And on the other side here, Tor has got five cards in his hand. He's got 45 cards in his deck. He's played none. Okay, I've got five cards in my hand. We all start with 50 cards. I can end the turn, which is probably not a good idea. And as the time is uh, ticking down, I shall actually start playing something. That, that would be advisable. <laughs> Tends to be a good idea, really, doesn't it? So uh, the first thing I need to do is get energy. Now, you can get energy by sacrificing cards. You see, click on one, you can sacrifice it for energy, or you can sacrifice it for other cards. So I'm going to quickly hit that one and sacrifice it for energy. And I've got one point of order now on the left-hand side, and I can use that to cast a spell or create a monster. But uh, the spell I have is not much use at this point, and all the monsters require more than one energy. So I end my turn and pass over to Torch. Ah, so things are happening a little differently for me this time. Yes. In, in our practice, I never got the, the, the cards I needed in my opening hand. But this time, I finally have one that I can summon with one energy. In, in, in my case, I think it's uh, the corruption. So I should really, really remember what the different types are called. You summoned a little girl. Okay. Well, that little girl actually looks quite deadly. Yeah, the, a little girl with a little dag. <laughs> right, so I've got a new card at the end of the turn. Unfortunately, it's going to cost four to cast, but it looks like a quite good card, so I shall keep hold of it. I will throw away this card. That gives me two energy, and now I can cast a monster myself with two energy, which I'm going to put facing uh, thoughts. They're more or less the same. Uh, just bring that one up for my for my people to see. Ah, but okay. a bit more health on your on your side. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, my creature can beat up your creature. And with that, I shall end the turn. So yeah, especially in the first few turns, you, you, you tend not to, uh, not to be playing multiple cards, but as it, it gets on and you've got a bit more energy, you can do more things. I probably shouldn't have sacrificed that one. This is what happens when I attempt to talk and, and, and play games. Oh. It's, it's, welcome to YouTube. This is what I do all the time. It explains why I play these games so badly. Ah, Lord Darkwing Duck. Okay. L loyal Darkling. Indeed, indeed. Mm. When countdown is zero, you may sacrifice Loyal Darkling. Yes, yes, you should do that. You should sacrifice Loyal Darkling. Well, right. whether I sacrifice her or you kill her, the effect is still the same. Right. She, uh, she has a, an ability called Unstable, uh, which Feel free to play while I'm explaining my card. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> unstable 2, in fact, which means however she dies, whether it's by... Oh, no, no, Unstable 2 was not nearly as good as the original. <laughs> it, it means um, that 2 damage will be done to your um, 
to your uh, total. Hold on here. Hold on. Uh, it's your turn. Is it still my you turn? It's your turn. That that is something I do a lot as well. When I run out of things mm. to do, I feel like it will automatically end, yeah. but it doesn't. I was expl that explains why that wasn't working very well for me. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. <laughs> Right, so yeah, please carry on about unstable to this time it's personal. Yeah, um, like when 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 you kill that unit, or if I sacrifice that unit, uh, the idol on the same row will receive two damage. Oh dear, I, I've lost my little ripper girl. Yes. What a shame. Um, in her place. Oh, there's only one thing I can put. So, what do I sacrifice for more energy so I can put different things down later? Oh, he's more expensive, so I'll sacrifice him to cast this. Although, it, this now is not the best time to be casting this. I prefer to cast that later in the game. But, mm -hmm. it, it was my only option for things to put down. And this time I remembered to end my turn. <laughs> well done. <laughs> right, uh, let's just talk about the rules again quickly here. Okay, um, if you look at each of the uh, the monsters cast on the uh, uh, the board, there's a, a sword, uh, a shield, and a, uh, an hourglass, each with a number next to them. The sword is the attack strength, the shield is the defense strength, the amount of damage it can take, and the uh, hourglass is the number of turns it's gonna it's gonna take until it actually does something. So, my squire here has an attack of two, a defense of three, and will uh, attack at the end of the next turn. That will count down to zero in my next turn, and it will go. So, right, uh, as I am running out of time, let's, let's sacrifice that, and let's actually get something out onto the board. Right. And with that... Uh, actually, I've got a few seconds, so let me just explain something here. On each side of the board is these totems, and the totems, as you can see, have a defense of ten. The object of the game is for you to destroy three of your opponent's totems. So I need to uh, go over it and attack um, Tort's totems, destroy three of them. So basically do 30 points of damage on the other side. His creatures are stopping me from doing that and also trying to attack mine. And with that, your turn. Uh, as you can see there, Tort's creature has now gone down to zero. He is going to attack at the end of next turn. But he only does one damage, so my squire will survive. Unless he's got something up his sleeve. Which I may just have. Uh, oh dear. It's also a new type of card so um, that the viewers haven't seen. So when, when, when it gets played, feel free to uh, describe it. I accidentally... I just sit in the corner and sulk. I accidentally did something there I didn't mean to. I sacrificed for scrolls instead of energy. But I now have even more options. Um, oh, and possibly... Just not the one you wanted to do. No, uh, well, not the one I was planning on doing. But... Well, I feel really sorry for you. <laughs> I hope that sounded sincere. <laughs> but it actually might be something better for me to do. So... <laughs> uh, I feel really sorry for you. I'm now going to... I'm not... I'm, I'm playing a scroll that isn't uh, a creature. It's something else. That is an enchantment. It's not a creature, it's a needle. Uh, All right. uh, we have a look at uh, my squire here. Now has an enchantment next to it, Naru's Needle. Now if I put the mouse over it, it says, Naru's Needle, enchanted units attack, health and move are decreased by one, it gets curse one. Okay, just explain that quickly. Curse one means that any damage done to this creature is increased by one. So he's just about to attack, yeah. this creature does one, actually does two points of damage. Creature goes boom. Indeed. Right. Okay, I can sacrifice this creature and cast this one, or I can do this. I can cast this creature, which I shall do. I shall put him in the front because he's got quite a hefty amount of hit points. Oh dear. And I shall sacrifice this one for scrolls. So that one gives me two scrolls instead of one. And I'll leave it there. Also, a thing about that creature you just played, he is unique. Which yes. means you can only have. I think. I think it means you can only have one of them in your deck. Mm-hmm. Or, or at least it. No, no. You can have multiple in, in your uh, deck, but you have... summoning summoning a unique destroys the previous uniques with the same name. According to the card. Yes. Right. Right. Okay then. Uh, Other than that, he's not actually that special. I'm gonna uh, sacrifice that for energy. And. 
Right. Resonance effects are triggered when you spend as a spell. So with this creature here, if I cast a spell, it will give um, adjacent units plus one attack until end of turn. So you could probably use that bit strategically. Hmm. But uh, I wonder if that's going to count if I cast a spell. Ah, it's interesting to find out. So we will. But that was an enchantment, technically not a spell, so... Yeah. Well, if you're going to be technical about it. <laughs> and it didn't seem to work anyway. All right, uh, Miasma Well, this is an interesting one. It's a wall. It doesn't attack, and it doesn't actually move. But uh, as you can see on the card here, when Miasma Well's countdown becomes zero, poisoned units are dealt one poison damage. So if these creatures have the status effect poison, uh, when at that timer gets to zero, they take two points of damage instead of one. And you're running out of time, oh. my friend. Are you done? Yes, I am. I, I was letting you speak, yeah. though. So, so that That's sense. very, very, very polite of you. <laughs> it's not that I didn't notice again or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have four energy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice that one. That gives me five energy. And then I can put both of these cards on the deck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them both on opposite ends like that. So I'm starting to attack Torp from different areas, not just down the middle as we have been through the rest of this fight. Oh dear, I'm, I'm definitely going to need uh, some more creatures on the board then to keep myself defended. Oh, oh dear, I'm definitely... Oh, yeah, I, see, yeah, I can see where you're going now. Have fun. Uh, right. Um... Uh, notice here, by the way, that each one of these creatures in the middle row has got zero. So at the end of this turn, this one's going to stand there. This one's going to do five points of damage and kill this creature. And this one is going to do one point of damage and not kill this creature unless Taunt has got something up his sleeve. Uh, I was hoping, s sacrificing for scrolls, I was going to get something that I could poison you with. But alas, that has not been the case. Um... However, there is something that is cursed, so that's handy. And I think I'm going to put that there. And uh, that is about all I can do. I could move some units, but they can only move one hex. So there's not really much point in me moving, moving them to... Well, I yeah. suppose it would mean I was directly attacking your totems. But uh, I feel I need to take out your creatures more. It's one of the things I've found when playing is um, while totems are your win condition, uh, allowing one player to get a creature advantage is is usually a bad thing. So you want to try and you want to try and take out the creatures because otherwise they'll overwhelm you. Yeah, absolutely. Right on the subject of moving. Okay, um, you have the ability to move creatures a number of hexes based upon their move stat. In most cases, it's one. What you do is you click on them, you click on where you want them to move. And they move to it. Now, um, I can cast some stuff, and I will cast that. Yeah, that's a rather annoying thing. I, I hate these when people use them against me, so I'm quite glad to use it against someone else. What this does is when that countdown gets to zero, it attacks these four Hexes. I hate lovers. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and... As you hover your mouse over it, it will highlight the hexes that are attacked. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think I will save that till next time. <laughs> there we go. That, that's sounding wonderfully ominous from you there, Simon. Sorry, I should have said it a different way. <laughs> I think I shall save that until next turn. <laughs> yes. The sacrifice of scrolls. I could do with some more energy, but I'm I'm not getting the cards I want. Uh, so. Right. Now you didn't see this last game because I nearly always sacrifice it because I I feel it harms itself more than it it's helpful but uh, we'll see I, I, I need to do some defending over here so I'll do some defending over here and uh, but that's about all I can do this turn again I'm not I, I technically can move creatures but I'm not going to be. okay so right you can see here I now have three creatures that have got zero countdown all three are going to attack um, I have 
these two cards here and I have five energy. So I think I'm going to use both of these cards this turn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this card down here, I think. So I have another squire here. Um, because of various effects... Um, because, actually, yes, because I did the same row as a knight, she gets plus one attack, which is great. So in two turns, she will do three points of damage. Now, I'm going to take a bit of a gamble here. Okay, I have this spell here. Let me show you it to everyone, okay? Um, target unit is moved to a random adjacent tile. Draw one spell. Uh, oh. Now, I'm going to cast this. Now, I'm going to cast this on this creature here. And you can see there's two places you can move to. One of them's going to be really good for me. One of them isn't, so fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey. And I my turn. Damn. Yeah, I don't. I, I didn't like that one. <laughs> it's a nasty, nasty scroll. Going back. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Scrolls. Uh, again. There's a lot of scrolls in this deck that seem to be more harmful to, to me than to you. Like, it'll give me, it'll do something for me. Usually get me more scrolls, but it, it, it does that at the cost of hurting me in some way. Cursing my creatures or causing them damage. I just don't feel it's worth it. I think those are very good <laughs> scrolls. I don't see what your problem is. No. Of course you would, Simon. Um... No. Again, I'm going to have to sacrifice the scrolls because I don't have enough creatures in my hand. Uh, cursory. I like Cursory. Let's go with that. Yeah, Cursory was much better than Curse 2. They really got the spot together, <laughs> didn't they? Uh, pretty much any time we mention an effect and a number, the number means it's, it's doing three times yeah. or whatever times. Yeah, so in this case, your curse means that physical and poison damage is increased by the number. So in this case, with this uh, yes, this poor gallant defender, if she gets attacked, she gets three more points of damage than we're expecting. Now this guy is just attacking, does now four points of damage instead of one. Indeed. Which means yes. I, I uh, managed to take her out in one hit. Absolutely. Now, I have this card here. And I'm in two binds. If I play this card, it will cost me two energy. I get a knight scroll, and knights are useful. However, I can just sacrifice it for energy or scrolls. I can get two scrolls. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to get two scrolls. So I think that's what I'll do. Unfortunately, I have five energy, so I now have I can't cast two of these. But I will cast this one, and I shall cast it. Where should I cast it? I think I shall cast it. Yeah, that's probably where it's going to do the most fun. And the nice thing about the mangonels is when they come into play, they are set to the lowest of any mangonel you you control. So basically, they all fire at the same time. So that went from three down to one. Oh, what a I don't like these things. What a what a real real shot! I feel so disappointed about that fact. To be honest with you. All right. Unfortunately, one of these is going to die at the end of the next turn, at the end of this turn. But uh, still, the other one, the other one should play. I'm about to use a few uh, creatures here. Hmm. You're about to lose a few more. Hmm. Hmm. So that's going to be taken out. That can't hit it. It can hit that one. Okay, that's going to that's going to die anyway. Um... Oh, I'm out of energy. All right, okay. Let's, let's allow this all to happen. I didn't even notice that up there. <laughs> right, okay. So I have these things here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that one, and that gives me six, which is still not enough to pass both of them. So I shall pass that one there. Uh, and we shall uh, leave the other one for the next turn. This one gives me a bonus if I pick a spell. So I shall pick a spell, and the spell I shall pick is that one. That That's something I've never encountered before. 